All right, Isaac. So I'm sending you and Eric each a drone. I'm going to send him a bigger one, uh, uh, an actual DJI Phantom 3 standard. It's the old version, um, but it's still a pretty good, pretty good drone. This one is like almost just recently out. This is a DJI Tello. Um, it is a cool, fun, little tiny drone. And I know I've given you little drones before, but this one actually, you don't have to worry about this one flying off and going crazy on you. It's very stable. It's just like, like the big drones, except uh, you control it with your phone. So I had you download the, the app for this one. Um, and that's the Tello app. And it works on the iPhone. All right, so um, fly Tello opens up and uh, let's see, I don't have a so that's the screen that you had on your iPod. That's why I wanted you to get to that because I wanted to make sure that you would get this screen and be able to control this. So you can control this drone with these thumb controllers. Uh, this is forward, back, or I'm sorry, this one's up and down and then rotate left and rotate right. This one is forward and backward and slide left and slide right. So, uh, but I also bought a controller like this so you actually have real sticks. Plus, it plays games on your, on your iPod or iPad, but I'm not sure if this will work with your iPod. You can use this by your iPod by itself with this drone, but I'm hoping that you can use, th that this will work because the, that controller, it's much easier to use the sticks with it. All right, so uh, to turn it on, you just push that button and hold it down for a second, and then it'll, it'll light up. And then you got to go into the, I'll do it right now. Let's see. Okay. And hold it down for a second. And it should, should come on. No, maybe not. <laughs> Try it again. There you go. So when it starts flashing like that, we're ready to go. Um, and when it's, then you have to go into your settings oops, and find it on your Wi-Fi. It says Tello. You connect to it, and that and that connects your phone to the drone. So. Um, once it's connected, once you're ready to go, it should. There. Now you can see, you can see the camera, uh, and it goes to a slow blink on the light. And so now, when you take off, you take off by pushing that button. It'll go up. It'll lift off just a ways, and then you control it with these sticks, just like you know how to control. You were doing it with the other drone, and. Uh, so let me show you how this controller works. I'm going to shut this down because I want to start again from scratch. Um, all right, go in here, disconnect. Oops, connect or disconnect by connecting to my local. All right, and let's shut this off. Hold down the button. Let go, and it should turn off. There we go. Yeah. So you just hold down the button again, it'll turn off. Okay, let's give this another shot. Uh, so I, for some reason, this camera lost its audio. Anyway, this is the game vice, uh, game playing device that goes with my Apple iPhone. And the iPhone just inserts right into the center of it. It's got a little lightning connector in there. And the center part is kind of a stretchy. It, it actually holds it in kind of spring-loaded. 
It's set to the widest setting for my iPhone 7 Plus, but for your iPod, you'll have to move the controls to shrink the space, the gap in the sides so that your iPod will fit without uh, rocking around. Otherwise, it'll be kind of jittery. You insert it right there on the end with the lightning connector in there, stretch it out, and hook the other side in too. And there you go. It's a regular game controller. Uh, it's got the joysticks up there for controlling your the, the drone, but it also has all those game controls on both sides like you normally see. So uh, you can download games for it, and I have uh, actually just played with, with some games, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog I was playing with. Um, and uh, uh, so even when you're not flying your drone, you, you got this game controller. So let's go through the startup process. Press the button and start it up. Uh, that will get the light going, uh, blinking. There you are. And then you go into settings and connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, you should see in the Wi-Fi section. Uh, and it's when it blinks fast, that means that the, it's now transmitting Wi-Fi. So then you go in, you find Tello and select it. And then uh, you just wait for the, wait for it to connect. Go back into the app. Uh, the Tello app and uh, open that up. And once it's connected, you should see the camera come on directly. The light slows, the blinking on the light slows down. There's your camera view all ready to go. And I have no idea why I'm pointing around there. Uh, uh, picture, picture, yes. Okay, let's give it a flight. Um, we take it out and I turn it on. And then I'll go through the startup, the startup sequence. There's the lights. And then I look for the Tello in my, in the settings to connect to. Find Tello, connect. And then I'll go back out and find, uh, open the uh, the app, and it should be connected, and you should see a picture on the screen. And pointing to the thing, I have no idea what that was. Oh yeah, it's the the picture's up. I couldn't see the picture. So anyway, it's ready to go. And uh, to fly, you just push the little button up in the upper left corner. That's to take off, and it will lift off. Uh, you have to slide it. It opens up a little slider. You slide it, and then it just takes off by itself. Comes up to altitude, and then you're ready to go. Then you can start using the sticks. I don't know if you can see it. But that thing is extremely stable, and it's the camera is looking at me. And to start recording, well, first click on the button. It's on camera right now, so you push the white button. Um, if you push the white button, it will take a picture. So I'll take a picture. <laughs> okay, now we switch to the, the push the camera button and it switches to video. So I switch on re, uh, video button. Now it's recording a little square inside the circle. All right, and so I can make it go down, up, left, right. But you see that this thing is extremely. It's very stable. But it's also responsive, so you have to be careful when you're indoors because this thing will take off like a rocket and go into the walls. It's got the propeller guards on it, but I've already broken one. I've already broken one uh, one propeller on it just from bumping into a wall. Those propellers are very fragile. I'll try to get you some new ones, but. Uh, So it's very, very user friendly, uh, very stable. Just be careful when you push the stick 
Um, sometimes it will continue going in that direction. You actually have to push the stick in the other direction to stop it. That's why indoors you got to be very careful uh, because it does take off like crazy. Now this is set for my big iPhone 7 Plus, which is a big phone. Your iPod is smaller, even though it's a 6th gen. You, uh, I'll switch the size so it will fit better, but you may have a problem with that iPod fitting tightly in here. Anyway, so to, uh, to make it land, you just push the down button, and then tap it again, and it will land itself. And there you go. Stop the recording. And uh, that's it. So that's flying it with this controller. So I'm sending you the controller too, so hopefully that'll work. The controller is also a game controller. Um, this one is street, the Street Fighter bundle. So you've got some Street Fighter stickers that you can put on both sides here to customize it to the Street Fighter. You got this one, and then that one, and that one. You can pick whatever you want. I don't know if you do Street Fighter, but uh, you can download games. I, I downloaded one or two already, just was playing with this. But uh, anyway, this will be coming. Uh, I'll be shipping this with the Phantom 3. Uh, for Eric. So, hopefully uh, you'll have fun with it and enjoy.